We're going to talk about auctions in this segment. And when we think about auctions, we usually think about something fairly specific, often something fairly simple. This is probably uh, what many of us think of when we think about auctions initially, an art auction where the auctioneer displays the uh, art and people from the audience call out larger and larger numbers until nobody says anything and the auctioneer famously says going once, going twice, sold and that's, the, that's how the sale is uh, decided on. Somewhat differently is this. What is this? Well, this is the flower market in Holland, just outside Amsterdam. And uh, here every day, a large uh, number of flowers are trucked in and sold, sold rather quickly because flowers are perishable. And they're sold somewhat differently. There is a trading pit where the pallets of flowers are rolled in and uh, they are... Uh, auctioned off, auctioned off rather differently. You see these lar large clocks in the background and uh, they have a special role. Um, and what that is, uh, is something to be discussed. Here's a very different kind of auction. These are auctions for the rights to use our electric magnetic uh, spectrum. So our airwaves are filled with all kinds of uh, broadcasts from television to cellular to what have you. And those are worth uh, a lot to commercially and socially. So governments all over the world have auctioned off the rights to use this, the, this spectrum, famously starting with the uh, US FCC, or Federal Communication Commission. Besides being valuable to society, and uh, fetching very large sums in the billions, these auctions are very interesting because they're complicated. What's being sold here is not something as simple as a single piece of art or even a palette of, of flowers. What's sold here are, are regions and frequencies. And so different regions in the country are different goods, and in each region, one can broadcast at different frequencies. So that makes for a different kind of auction, where both the design of the auction and the, the uh, trading in the auction are non-trivial. And uh, finally, in all those cases until now, we've had a single seller and many buyers. Here's a famous example. We have many sellers and many buyers. This is uh, the, the NASDAQ, one of the many... Uh, stock exchanges in the world. We have many buyers and many sellers of goods, and in fact, these goods come in multiple units. If you wish to buy Google stock, then you can buy uh, many uh, such shares, and uh, there are many others like you want to buy it, and many, many who want to sell it. So the way you design a, a two-sided exchange and the way you trade in it, and again, different from the simple single-sided auction we know. These are all examples of auctions. There are many other examples and the, uh, the theory about how to design and how to behave in auctions is very rich.